Welcome back guys. Today we're going to test if we short circuit any of the 18650 batteries will they go that hot that they will catch fire. I will start with this four here. Those two have around 100 and 150 internal resistance and they are those two green ones are up to 200. If any of those show any sign of going in the thermal runaway I will be running those two as well just because of seeing if this was a one time or not. So basically all those four cells are charged up fully. I just tested them with my eye charger and made sure that everything is up and running. So let's measure them here. 410. Of course I have let them sit for quite a while just to make sure. 416, 414. Those two is considered to be a little bit worse shape. They have around 1500 to 1800 milliamp hour. Those have two and a half thousand milliamp hours. Those two as well. The internal resistors have also been tested with the eye charger. So what I'm basically going to do is use this setup here. This is a four square millimeter cable. And I will be hooking it up like that around. I will also be measuring this with my flare gun and filming that as well so you guys can see if there is any heat building up inside. So let's go and test. So basically, what do we get out of this test? I mean, I ran 4 cell and no one of those even came close to going thermal runaway. We had one cell that came up to 100 degrees or 110, and that was not a big deal later. If we take a look at the chart that I have on the screen now, you will see that one of the combinations would go lethal at around 150 degrees, and we did not came close to that one. Uh, of course, if we had like three or four or five cells going total thermal and go beyond whatever they want, they might reach 150 degrees. But if you have one cell at a time, they won't. So basically, I do recommend to take a look at the above page because that one have plenty of good information. And lastly, I don't think we have a big issue if they. Um, short circuit like I did in this scenario because nothing will really happen. Of course I used second hand batteries and I have no clue what will happen if you new use brand new ones. So if anyone want to test that feel free to do that or if anyone want to send me or donate money to actually buy those kind of cells and test that feel free, 
to do that as well because I only have secondhand batteries lying around for the moment. So basically guys, stay safe out there. There is not a big issue with the cells and continue to use them. Just make sure that you keep them within their boundaries and nothing will happen. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and see you next time. Bye. Thank you guys for watching another one of my exciting episodes. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Meanwhile also check out my other exciting videos. And if you want to support my work you can find links to both Patreon and Paypal below. By becoming a Patreon supporter you help me a lot and you also gain access to some extra material.